your typical STFT plot for surge response will be now shown. This is a 3D graph. where both the surge response under normal and postulated failure are shown. This is the normal case and this is the postulated failure case 2 a wide range of frequencies variations occurring throughout the time history are successfully captured. This is the frequency plot. We look at the frequency plot, the plot may look like this. Okay. But when you look at the time plots variation, you can see there are a lot of peaks which are appearing along the time at the same frequency. Okay. At the same frequency, lot variations are happening along the time. That is true in both the cases, even in post failure case as well as in the normal case, you can see this variation. This variation is effectively captured when you do the short term Fourier transform which is required for the data analysis to find out the time localization of the damage. So, this data is useful in diagnosing the condition of the platform for further assessment okay. in terms of heave is also shown you can see here multiple frequencies and this is for the pitch response multiple frequencies and at the same frequency multiple variations in time. Okay. All are captured very nicely with the respective amplitude being shown. The values may be small, but the variation is sensitized on the time localization which is otherwise not interpolated and interpreted correctly in the Fourier transform. Failure case 4. So, friends once this is estimated the next task is to inform the client about the damage. because the SHM system which we have proposed is able to capture the damage. Okay. By doing interesting and intelligent post processing, one can do the damage identification and one can do the damage localization in time as well. This is done with FFT, this is done with STFT as we just now saw. Now, the design is leading towards alert monitoring. Briefly, we call as alert monitoring system AMS. The data acquired by the sensors is transmitted to the base station. This is now stored in my SQL database as we discussed in the last lecture as well. Now, the acquired data is processed for viewing it as a report because I would like to see in a report form or the actual response will be compared with the preset threshold value. Okay. But in this case,
the threshold value refers to the maximum amplitude of vibration in the undamaged scenario. Okay, that is what we have taken. This will be compared in the real time monitoring layout of sensor nodes will be integrated with the database. So, one will also know exactly at what location the damages occurred physical location. Where damages occur from the report. Okay. For example, let us say sensor node 1 corresponds to let us say leg 1. So, one can say that leg 1 is damaged. So, from the report one will know the physical location of the damage quantification of the damage and now we are talking about how to alert the user using alert monitoring system. The central server will initiate an SMS to the registered mobile number which is RMN on exceedance of the threshold value so very interestingly with the sms api sms is triggered from the website for two factor authorization typically you can see here how the sms activation happens this has been a real time measurement made during the conduct of the experiment so there is a local host which has been configured for this experiment it has been generating a serial id automatically this is the data on different degrees of freedom you can say displacement along x y z roll and pitch for example let's say the pitch value which is indicating in kion color has exceeded the threshold value the threshold value may be shown for example in the orange line so the tabulated value is also available the threshold value as been indicated and when the response exceeds the threshold value when the response exceeds the threshold value there should be a system which should going to integrate the alert of this okay, that will again generate an sms to the user and an email to the user where the sms indicates a message saying that leg 1 has failed for example, okay, whereas email says the complete report as you see in the screen here. So, one will know what is the level of exceedance, when it has occurred, what is the local location of the damage and what is the quantification. So, the structural health monitoring system in the case 2 which is deploying wireless sensor networking has successfully executed the alert monitoring system and that becomes my end of this problem saying that I can generate an alert message on exceedance. So, friends in this example of application we have clearly seen the complete design of structural health monitoring on the lab scale for both wired and wireless sensor 
we have discussed the specification of the sensors processor unit transmission protocol and we have also seen in detail about the data analysis to check the damage identification and the time localization of the damage for post processing. Once it is done and the value is compared with the threshold number which is preset in the system in an undamaged state, then the alert monitoring system raises an SMS alarm and an email alert to the user indicating the location of damage, quantification of damage etcetera, which shows the complete success of the implemented SHM on the lab scale. We have few more lectures where we discuss about the alert monitoring system on a Bayless RP, we will show that. Then we will also talk about what is the future scope of structural health monitoring in the present scenario. Thank you very much and bye.